Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm making salad servers. What are salad servers? Well, imagine those big uh, spoons, usually wooden spoons, that basically you scoop your salad from the bowl and you distribute it in your plates. They kind of look like this, and I'm using a piece of floorboard to do my layout, and that's going to give me a perfect one-to-one -one ratio, so why not use it? And if you know me, by now you should know that the uh, spoon section to the handle is in the golden ratio proportion. Uh, the dotted line here represents the uh, spoon portion of the salad server, and I've also gone ahead and done a, another layout, and that's basically the profile, so basically how it's going to look and how it's going to curve. And as before, the dotted line here represents the uh, spoon section or the uh, bowl section of the spoon. Now, if this was a little bit flatter, you can use it for something else, and that definitely is a custom order. Now, back to the uh, salad servers. How do you get that wood out? Well, you can take your hand carving set and carve everything out. You can take your power carving set and do the same thing. I'm personally going to use my router and the reason is that's going to be a precursor to my next video in which I'm going to use the CNC to do exactly the same. Now, this uh, carving set or this serving set has to be delivered by Christmas, so I'm not going to have enough time to record the video and take all the steps. Uh, so that's I'm going to be using my power, uh, my uh, router right here. And then in my next video, I'm going to go through something similar with the snap maker. I am going to be using this lovely piece of maple for the project and like the cutting boards I'm going to finish it by submerging it into the oil bath and creating vacuum. So let's get to it, I only have 5 days to do it. I begin by tracing out the spoon pattern onto the maple board. As I'm doing the layout uh, I basically figured like any spoon roughly over here I think the other way. Roughly over here is going to be the deepest section and everywhere else will be sloping towards it. And that's what <laughs> this design looks like. Uh, I'm not making any eyes and eyelashes, but just the uh, what I think is the deepest. So next I'm going to take it to the drill press and I'm actually going to use uh, my Forstner bits to take out majority of the wood so that I don't have to do everything with the router bit. So majority of the wood will be taken out by this particular uh, Forstner bit. What's going to happen now is I'm going to start taking shallow cuts around the perimeter and then as I move towards the offset center, I'm going to go deeper. I've decided to do this while I still have the full boards because that way I have a lot of surface area to grab onto and stabilize it. And also when I start using the router to clean the inside, I have a much better surface area to clamp onto as opposed to just the handle. So I'm going to do this first and then uh, based on what I do and what I screw up <laughs> in the middle, I'm going to be cutting out the rest of the design. And this is what it looks like after I'm done with the router, kind of like a, a step design and that's what I was expecting from a round uh, router bit. So now it's time to smooth everything on the inside and for that I'm going to use regular good old fashioned sandpaper. Let's get to it. So there is no set rule that the drill press should be used only for drilling. So I attached my sanding pad and 80 grit sandpaper and I'm going to be sanding everything on the inside. So that was quite the dusty exercise, but let's see the results. 
I'm going to use a little bow to see where the lowest spot is. And as we can see, it's towards the back as I anticipated it. And let's check the other one. And roughly about the same spot. So now I'm gonna do my other grits uh, up to 320 and then I'm gonna be ready to cut the shape out and then do the profile. Next step is to figure out how to cut the curve on the outside of the spoon and that's very easy. I take a piece of stick of known thickness, uh, this is six and a half millimeters, and then I mark uh, certain locations based on the width of the stick. And then what I simply do is line it up on the markings, take my caliper, and line it and take the measurement at the center and then what I do next is butt it against my initial mark and draw a little line and that's gonna give us a series of dots which then I will connect to come at the curve uh, so let me do this and it's going to be seen uh, quite easily in a few moments. And now it's also time to kind of figure out how the handle is going to look uh, and basically connect the, the dots. So there we are. Of course, the more number of dots you have, the greater the accuracy of the curve, but I think this distance is okay. And then we go into the, the, the handle. So we're going to go to the bandsaw and cut something like this. Obviously, this is more important than this, so I might cut it uh, on the halfway mark. But that is uh, what's going to happen next. I already did the previous one, so I'll try to emulate roughly the same shape for both. So let's go back to the bandsaw. In case you're wondering what I did here, I glued the handles of the salad servers together and I'll take them on the lathe and shape them that way. Of course, the easiest way to glue them is with a paper in between because once I'm done with the shaping, I can easily separate them. If it was glued wood on wood, the only way to separate them is cutting them on the bandsaw and that's more cutting that I'm willing to do. Since they are glued together, that will also give me the opportunity to shape the two spoons so that they're exactly the same shape. There are a few spots of extra material that I need to remove and this is going to be a perfect opportunity. After a couple of hours of sanding, this is what we have. The salad servers are similar in shape and size, yet they're so different. 
and now they're ready for the finishing oil and I'm gonna do something similar to what it did with the cutting boards and that is infuse oil in them I'm not gonna go through all the steps I'm just gonna link the video and then you can watch it and see what I did the only difference is my container is going to be much smaller so that they don't waste a lot of oil and this is my last project before the holidays and since the video is also gonna go up before the holidays i just want to wish you happy holidays and enjoy the time spent with your family and your loved ones if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video uploads also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on patreon all the links are down in the description